Welcome back Crusaders, I'm Cooper Smith and I'm Alyssa Baird bringing you another edition of Crusader Nation News. Although the weather has been cold, our Crusader athletics have been on fire, especially this last week. That's right Alyssa, the dance team tore it up at their final regional competition, placing second in large varsity palm and third in large varsity precision jazz. They will now prepare for their final chapter in their 2023-24 season competing at state in late February. That's not all Cooper. Girls basketball defeated Parkway West 52-33, and the girls swim and dive team placed first in their meet against Notre Dame 114-63. Finally, the boys from last week also pulled out a win against Priory. Way to rep our Crusader Athletics, ladies and gentlemen. Looking forward to this week, the ladies basketball Washington tournament round one was postponed on Monday. They will play Lutheran South tonight at 5.30. The boys are partaking in the Fort Zumalt North Invitational, and they played Priory at 8.15 yesterday and will continue to be playing up until Friday. If you're interested in watching these games, you can head on out to Fort Zumalt North, or these games will be streamed on www.misha.tv, and good luck to both of these teams throughout the week. Moving throughout the week, our girls swim and dive are going to be very busy. Today they have a meet against McClure North High School at 4, tomorrow they swim against Duchenne High School at 8.30, and finally on Friday they participate in the AAA swim meet. Additionally, on Friday, our ice hockey team has their special senior night. The game will be played at the RecPlex at 7.30. Not only is it senior night, but the winner of the $10 QT gift card, the season pass to Six Flags, and the free Chick-fil-A for a year winner will be announced. Make sure to show up early because you do not want to miss out on this night. Winter sports are going well, but spring sports will be here before you know it. With that in mind, track and field, boys tennis, and lacrosse will be having interest meetings during Empower Hour this week. Track will be this Wednesday, second half of Empower Hour in the PAC, and tennis and lacrosse on Thursday. Lacrosse will be first half of Empower Hour in room 428, and tennis second half in room 13. The Pro-Life Club had much planned over our crazy last two e-learning days. Some of that will be made up today, as they are having a bake sale in the atrium during Empower Hour. Stop by and grab some sweets. All proceeds will go help Birthright of Wentzville. Retreats are back in full swing for this semester. Last Thursday and Friday, we had another group of amazing seniors go on their final retreat here at St. Dominic. And today, through Friday, Pyros 53 is taking place. Make sure to pray for these juniors this week as they're going through this special time. This Friday ends the House Gala competition. No donation is too big or too small to make a contribution, which counts towards house points. First place earns 20, second 18, third 16, fourth 14, fifth 12, and sixth place earns 10 points. Make sure to check out Miss Ballard's house competition email if you have any questions. For more information about activities inside and outside of St. Dominic, make sure to visit our website at crusadernationnews.org. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Crusader Nation News, as more and more content will be delivered to you in this manner. Finally, I'm Melissa Baird. And I'm Cooper Smith, signing, signing off. off.